Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kimberly and I'm now a second year medical student studying at the Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine under NTU Singapore. As of when I am filming this video, I think most of you guys are having your Christmas break. So I thought it would be the perfect time to make a video about things you can do this holiday. Let's get into the video. It's time to take a well-deserved break. You guys totally deserve it. I know a lot of you guys have recently just finished your A-levels or even just completed a whole semester of university and you guys are probably really really tired. I can relate. In any case, I think it's time to take a well-deserved break and catch up on your sleep recharge your mind, recharge your body, and get ready for another semester of the grind. So when I say rest, I don't just mean sleep, obviously that included, but there are many other ways to rest your mind and rest your body other than just taking a nap. Personally, I've been reading a book called literally rest recently and how you can do more by doing less. Some of the other methods that they talk about in the book include things like exercise and deep play. I think that exercise is also very important to help stimulate your mind and allow you to take your mind off your work and deep play include things like hobbies or passion projects that I will get into later. Travel and explore. Especially during the Christmas season, many malls, many places, many tourist attractions have now set up new and pretty exciting attractions for people to go and visit. Let's go and create a bucket list of all the places you want to visit and slowly check them off across the holiday. Another thing you could do this holiday is take your time and volunteer at places that need help. This not only helps with giving back to the community, but it also helps with your CV, especially for those of you that intend to apply for university next year. It's something that you can bring up during your interviews and you can write it in your application and it can even help you with getting things like scholarships and bursaries. So some of the places that my friends have volunteered include places like SPCA, even their local CCs or NGOs and they really just spend their holiday, maybe a small portion every week or every few days to go down to the organization and help give back to the community. Who doesn't want some cash on the side? This is something I personally did after my A-levels which was to get a part-time job. I personally worked at a small bakery in Orchard area. For those of you that might be intimidated with the prospect of getting a job when you have never worked before, I can personally say from experience that it's actually not that difficult to apply and get part-time jobs. You simply have to go to places like Indeed, I believe I used, and there are other places like Job Street, or you can even do walk-in interviews for certain cafes, especially if they are like around your neighborhood. And that's a perfect segue into my next point, which is internship. Now, the difference between internships and part-time jobs is that unfortunately, most internships are unpaid. So you're just working essentially as free labor but it's really good for things like your resume or application for university and it's something you can really talk and go in depth into especially during interview sometimes the interviewers might mention things like oh i see on your application that you've done an internship here can you tell me more about the experience and what you learned during that time so you can talk about all the skills you picked up and what you observed from the work environment of the company that you interned in of course it's also really good for you to see for yourself whether or not you really like this industry that you have an interest in going back to my point on rest and deep play it's finally time to pursue that hobby that you've been putting off for so long this could include things like learning a new skill doing a side project like a side hustle or even learning to play a new instrument during the holidays after my a levels aside from working the part-time job i had i personally picked up coding i finished up my paintings oh yes and i learned the violin as well though it's kind of sad and sitting in the corner now. And last but not least, taking the time to do some research about the schools of your interest. So for those of you that are applying to university next year, this will be a good time to finally sit down and research through all the different universities and the different courses that you might want to take. Most of the time, you only have a limited number of slots that you can apply and limited number of courses you can apply in each university. There are many things to take into consideration and depending on your own personal preference, you might want to weigh them differently. So for instance, some of my friends refuse to go to NUS and would rather go to NTU simply because they lived 
closer to the campus while other people would rather go to another university just because that university is the only one that has a specific course that they want to take. So these are all things that you might want to take into consideration and take this time now while you have it to go and do some research. So that's gonna be it for this video. Leave a like, leave a subscribe, it really helps my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!